Hello and welcome to another brief video tutorial. This one features zero charts and with this video we're going to show you how to ha uh, enter the new Hang Seng indexes that are now available for trading on this platform through the CQG data feed. Okay, so once you've got your zero charts open, we want to go ahead and click on find symbol. So you can see that we're already connected. We're going to click find symbol and it's going to open us up to the available symbols here. So we want to look for futures. I'm going to click on the futures here. And then we're going to scroll down and start looking for anything to do with the hands, Hang Seng. Okay? Let's scroll down the list. There's quite a lot here, so take your time and you're looking for the Hang Seng Index. And there it is right there. We're going to open that up. Okay? So the first symbol we're looking for is HSIK8. Okay? All right, so let's go find the May. There it is right there. We're going to click on that. Now we can go ahead and open uh, intraday charts. So we're going to click on open intraday charts. We're going to go ahead and close this. And it says waiting to download historical data. So we're going to give it just a few moments um, to load up the bars. And then once you have your first chart open, pretty much opening the rest of the symbols that we're going to go over, three more symbols are going to be relatively easy to follow. Okay, so let's just give it a moment here to open up. And again, these are uh, new available markets uh, to our traders. So you'll be able to uh, download the information, um, trade from the chart, trade from the dome uh, once the information shows up. Okay, let's give it a minute here. Okay, so now you can see that the data has shown up, and this again is, you can look up in the upper left-hand side, that is for the Hang Seng Index from May 18th, okay? You'll notice that the, it starts with F.US.HS1K18. Let's take a closer look at that as we switch to another symbol. We're going to right-click on the chart now. So here's where you can uh, create some of the shortcuts, okay? So you don't have to go back to the main menu. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on chart settings. Look for where it says symbol, HSIK18. Let's go ahead. We're going to put in now the eight. So all you have to do is just take this part out and we're going to put in the M H I K 18. This is the mini. And if you go ahead and click find, you'll see it right there. Click OK. And when you click apply, it's going to pull up the chart for you just the way it did this one. Uh, we're going to add the next one. Let's go to this is the China Enterprises Index and that one's going to be HHIK18. Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're going to click Find. You'll see it right there. H Shares Index Futures. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then when you click apply, it's going to pull up the chart for you. Okay. So let's just give it a minute to pull up so we can see the data. Okay. So you can see that the information was pulled up. And there's also a mini version of this one. So the big one is the f.us.hhk18. Now we're going to jump over here and right-click on the charts. Go to chart settings right here, simple change it, and that symbol is going to be M C H M for June 18 for the futures contracts on that one, the China Shares Index, and we're going to go ahead and hit apply, and then OK. As you can see, it's come up. It's a little bit spotty, uh, quiet market right now, but that's how you're going to go through and get these new uh, contracts. Okay? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, 1-800-560-1640. And uh, extension 1 will get you to the help desk. We'll be more than happy to show you how to set up these new symbols uh, on your Sierra charts. And as always, thanks for your attendance and happy trading.